hello Libras. Hello to all of the beautiful Libras out there. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. I am going to be doing your reading for the week of May 11th through May 17th. If this reading resonates with your situation, share, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. I hope you all enjoy your week and are continuing to practice safety measures. Again, this reading will be for the week of May 11th through May 17th. And this reading will be a love reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, what is the current energy for the sign of Libra? Okay, we have the strength card. This, this strength card has been coming out in every single reading thus far. So... Someone could be dealing with a Leo, or you could have Leo in your chart, um, Libra. Could be dealing with a Gemini as well, or have Gemini in your surrounding, because I was about to say Gemini, and I don't know why. But, what's influencing this energy? Spirit, what is influencing this energy for the sign of Libra? What is influencing this energy? Okay. The Six of Pentacles. Let's find out. Spirit, what is the past energy? The Six of Cups. What is the immediate past energy? It is the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups. What are your crowning thoughts, Libra? What are your crowning thoughts? The Fool card. Could be done with an Aries or an Aquarius. Or have an Aries or an Aquarius in your environment. Your future is the Ace of Wands. Fire energy. Libra, what do you fear? What do you fear? Okay. That was too many cards. But I see two. The, the two that came out last, I'll take. All right. So you fear the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. And others see you as the Ten of Pentacles. What are you hoping for? Spirit, what is Libra hoping for? What is Libra hoping for? We have the Nine of Cups. And what is the out? Okay. The outcome is... The emperor in reverse. All right. So let's make sure all of the cards are visible. Mm. Okay. And you have the hermit card at the bottom of the deck. Could be done with the Virgo. All right. So Libra. Your current energy is the strength card. That's the Leo card. Um, you could need strength in a situation at this time. You could be seeking strength at this time, or you need strength, inner strength and courage to get through something. What's influencing this energy is the six of pentacles. So, it could you could need strength to gain harmony within a situation. 
You could need strength to gain har harmony within a situation with that six of pentacles because you want the situation to be successful. But you need strength. You have the strength part there. In the past with the six of cups, you felt balanced. You felt happy. This could be pertaining to children because these are children in this card. But you were happy in the situation. But right now with the Ace of Cups, you want a new beginning in love. You want a new beginning or you could want a new person. Your overall energy is the Fool card. So someone, you or someone could be juggling multiple people or you could be on a journey, a new journey, and you don't know where it's going to end up. You don't know how your situation is going to end up. In the future, you have a passionate new encounter. And when I say passionate new encounter, I mean a passionate, someone is thinking about sex with this Ace of Wands. So there's definitely some passionate new encounter that is coming towards you you fear the nine of pentacles so your fear is that you're not going to be financially successful you fear that you're not going to be financially successful and stable within the situation you fear that there isn't going to be any security financial security but others see you as the ten of pentacles others see you your partner someone is seeing you as the ten of pentacles someone sees you as financially stability financially stable within your home as well as within your family what you wish for is, I mean, with this nine of cups, you're wishing, you're hoping that your wishes be fulfilled with the nine of cups. You, you are hoping that you get a wish fulfillment. And your outcome is the emperor in reverse. Could have an Aries around you. Because you have Aries here twice. Someone is an Aries. But with the Emperor card in reverse, someone or something is not getting nurtured. Something or someone is not getting nurtured. Someone isn't being responsible because the Emperor in the upright represents a responsible person that nurtures their family. And this is in a reverse. So someone is being irresponsible and um, not nurturing a situation or... They're not nurturing something. So I'm going to pull your partner's energy. I don't really have to clarify anything, Libra, because that was kind of like straight to the point. So I'm going to just pull your partner's energy. Let's see what's going on. But you have um, Leo is here. And you have Aries here. So you could be dealing with a um a fire sign. Spirit, what is um Libra's partner's energy? What is Libra's partner current energy? This is Libra's partner current energy. Okay, the Six of Cups. Your know, partner's current energy is the Six of Cups. So your partner, your partner feels harmony after some type of um, strain. Something, they were stressed or something was going on, but they feel that there's harmony in the situation now. Okay, I'm going to shuffle these um, one time because... I had quite a few cards fall on the floor. So your partner feels harmony right now. 
in your love situation. So let's find out how they feel about your situation. Yeah, okay. Your partner feels as though they are working hard in this relationship, in this situation, in this partnership with this nine of wands. They feel as if they are working hard. And they could feel like they're working hard and it's not getting them anywhere. Because they they are tired. Look at him. He looks tired and beat up. They are tired, but they're still they're still working on it. They're still working on it. Why is that nine of wands there for Libra's partner? They tired. Why is that nine of wands there? The magician. The magician could be dealing with um have a Gemini around you or a Virgo with the magician card. So your partner is trying to manifest something. Why is the magician card there? Let's find out what it is. Why is that magician card there for Libra's partner? My nose just started running and itching. That's why I'm sniffling. Okay, the death card. So they're manifesting a transformation within this partnership with their death, death card. And that's the Scorpio card. So there could be a Scorpio in the mix. There could be a Scorpio in the mix. But they're manifesting a transformation within your situation. Let's get one more card for your partner's energy. Transformation. They're trying to decide on what they want to do with this two of wands. They have a decision to make. Your partner is making a decision at this time. Your partner is making a decision. They have a decision to make. So, Libra, let's pull your love oracle cards. Now, see what's going on. It looks like your partner, your partner wants this relationship to work out. But, they feel like they're working hard within a relationship. And I don't, maybe it's not going the way that they want it to go. Or you feel as though it's not going the way you want it to go. But something, I mean, like the relationship is going on. Like there's, it is, there is definitely... A connection here. But your partner, for whatever reason, feels as if they're working hard and they're trying to manifest a transformation within this relationship. And they have a decision to make. With their two of wands. Maybe they are deciding on if they want to move the relationship to the next level could be deciding on if they want to move the, the relationship to the next level maybe that's why they are working on manifesting a transformation all right spirit can i have a love oracle card for the libra two cards came out first card that came out we are take it says the sword and rules sword the sword and rules Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. Exactly. That's what that um, manifestation going inward, continuing to work hard on a situation, transformation. Yeah. Not enough. Frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. Maybe that is why your partner feel as if they are working hard and is not being seen. So either you or your partner could be jealous in this relationship. 
you or your partner is jealous and someone is lacking confidence and your either you or your partner feels frustrated and that's why the transformation card or the death card is there because there needs to be a transformation regarding that and maybe that's why that two of wands is there because someone has to make a decision regarding if this relationship is going to move forward one more love oracle card for the sign of libra spirit okay thank you the boat receiving what you want could wish is fulfilled with the nine of cups progression arriving moving on closure issues so Someone could receive what they want. Maybe if they stop being jealous. Maybe if they stop being jealous and stop making this person feel as if they're working hard for nothing and not getting anywhere. Because if you don't, or if they don't, with this two of wands here, someone is going to move on from the relationship. And then the other person is going to have issues because they don't, they have issues with closing the relationship out. So Libra, that is your reading for the week of May 11th through May 17th. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this reading resonates with your situation. If so, please share, like, subscribe. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. I'm sending lots of love, light, peace, and healing energy into the world. I hope that you be safe. I hope that you enjoy your week and your weekend. Happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers out there. And um, thank you for watching. Bye.